Yes. This is a World Press Conference by Labour Party. Today, Friday, the 13th day of uh, October 2023. Unveiling the true identity of the man called Mr. Peter Obi, who is using the identity of his dead brother. I repeat, we want to unveil the true identity of Mr. Peter Obi, who is using the identity of his dead brother. Mr. Peter B name on the LYC certificate, the one on the University of Nigeria and Soka certificate and WAEC are different. Who and what is his elder brother name? Where is he and what happened to him? Gentlemen of the press. The attention of Labour Party have been drawn to Mr. Peter Obi needless and unwarranted World Press Conference on Wednesday, 11th of October 2023, where he accused the President and Commander in Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, <clears throat> of using fake identity. We have been watching with keen interest the various reactions and most likely of the unsubstantiated un allegation of forgery in respect of Chicago State University Diploma Certificate of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinobu GCFR. While we agree that Mr. Obi has the right to his opinion, he ought to have been guided by the Constitution of Nigeria because who, he who comes to equity must come with a clean hand. <clears throat> As a main opposition party, the role being played by the Labour Party former 2023 presidential candidate is highly <coughs> condemnable because it is obvious he is trying to levy war against the president of Nigeria through intimidation in order to cause violent overthrow, which is a treatable felony offence punishable by death or life imprisonment. We believe rather than Mr. Peter will be engaging in this media tragedy, rascality and comedy. He should have allowed the Supreme Court to adjudicate on the veracity of the issue raised in the President Sasuke saga. Labour Party acted on credible authority that he has an elder brother, the firstborn of his, of his father. He should disclose his elder brother's name and his whereabouts. What is the relationship between Peter B and the likes of IKB, JX5, and late Senator Okonko in the 80s in Lagos? <clears throat> what business interest was he pursuing in the 80s in the USA with the above mentioned individuals? And whose password did he use to travel to the US? Let him show Nigeria a birth certificate and the name. He bear on, on, on the on the birth certificate. <clears throat> we can also confirm that as the National Public Secretary of Labour Party, I was among those who screamed Obi as one of the president of and that the name written on Peter Obi academic certificate from the University of Nigeria Anzuka was different from the name on his LYC certificate of the former governor and his wife's certificate. Mr. B claimed in his comedy press statement that, and I quote, I will not just start by giving you my academic record. I will start by introducing myself. He said my name given to me at birth by my parents is Peter Onwubuasi Obi. That was my parent, I mean, that was the name my parents gave me. I don't answer my ego or middle name. What this means is that I cannot die. So I choose not to answer it. But my father that gave me that name. But it was my father that gave me that name. My name is Peter Onwubuasi Obi. I'm a Catholic. And my confirmation name was Gregory. So you will see. You will see me write Peter Gregory Obi. I repeat. I repeat. He said you will see me write Peter Gregory Obi in 
all his dealings. But a second look and, and curious check on Peter B. 1978 school certificate result posted orderly by a co-traveler in the theater of political rascality and absurd, absurdity, Mr. Oseloka, his former SAG, showed that the name Obi Gregory Obuasi and not Peter Obuasi Obi, as he claimed. Now, some questions are now begging for answer as follows. Who is Peter Obuasi Obi? The name he said it was given to him by his parents. Two, who is Obi Gregory Obuasi on the white 1970 certificate? <clears throat> Three, who is Obi Gregory Peter, I think, company name, Ongboasi, on the NYC certificate? And finally, who is Gregory Peter Ongboasi, Obi, on the uh, on his, uh, United, I mean, uh, University of Nigeria Super certificate? These are different four names that contradicted what he claimed in his press statement. Like I said, I was part of the executive that did screening for him. And I want to say calculate to Nigeria that in the form EC9, that's the particulars of candidate from the INEC. He wrote that he attended the University of Nigeria, Unsuka. He wrote that he finished the youth service. <coughs> but unfortunately, in the final submission of form that we did, he only submitted the school certificate. So something is fishy. And I say, the school, the name the school said for mobilization was not worth written on the NYC certificate. And it knows that. All of us is aware when you graduated, it is the school that will send your name for mobilization. Not you going to NYC to go and meet them by yourself. They will send the name of all the graduates to NYC for mobilization. So they will definitely say, I mean, they are going to send it as, you know, in respect to the name on your certificate. Now, the destination that is going, I don't know, and what you want to achieve, and what you want to achieve. We are before the Supreme Court, his own position, his own petition and pleading. And this accusation of CSU are not there. So, calling out on someone to show his true identity is not a question that will not be sent back to him. Because when you have a log of wood in your eyes, you don't help the man who has a speck in his eye. For us in Labour Party and to fellow Nigerians, we do not know the true identity of Peter Obi, even in Labour Party, because everything was treated in secrecy as at the time between him and Aburi in Asaba, where we did the primary. Because we were rushing then and we just had a day to a presidential primary. And that was why he was able to get away with it. But we have it on record. There will be name on the network certificate and the one on the University of Nigeria, uh, Insuka certificate, they are different. The name Peter Gregory is that of his brother, killed by the drop baron. I repeat, Peter B. Eda brother, his firstborn was a drop baron that was killed. He belonged to Andy Okonko, the IKB group in the early 80s. He should bring a birth certificate. And we want to know who is Gregory, rather than him to, comp you know, to comport himself, is telling the old world that is not. <clears throat> Obi is not a clean person. For eight years, he did not control the government election in Anambra. He came to a save money for Anambra. These are the money he put in a private bank and he collected interest in the money. He saved Anambra money in Fidelity Bank. If truly he was saving for the people of Anambra, he should have put it in Union Bank or First Bank. He used the money for collateral for his private businesses. The bank was issuing letter of credit and is the one accusing the president of being a thief. How on heart will such a person go on here on a national television station and accuse somebody of fraud? when he knew he had no local standard. People should come and ask him, what happened to his elder brother? What killed him? Two, why did he not allow his elder brother wife to remarry 
or leave his house? Why is he using only his school certificate and so on? We want Peter B to deny this allegation and we are ready to bring him up fight. Most importantly, Peter B need to come back to the press and show his birth certificate. I put it to him via the world press conference that the name on the birth certificate is not Peter Gogiobi. He's using the name of his brother and even the next international company he, he claimed to have owned when he was in school belonged to that dead brother. Finally, I've been warned even up to this morning not to grant this press conference by Peter Obi and Julius Aburi. Yes, they said I risk losing my life. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwaibo Lame Tinumbu, should note that should anything happen to me and my family, the Special General of Police will be put on notice that Mr. Peter Obi and Abure are to be arrested for my assassination. There is no need for any investigation as that may be silenced anytime soon by them. I employ the IGP and the DGA DSS to watch me closely so that I will not be killed for saying the truth. I pray for the repose of the soul of Mubad, but there will not be any another Mubad in Nigeria. <laughs> Dr. Abba Marabambi, National Public Secretary, Labour Party, October 13, 2023. Thank you all. Nigeria. He went on here to say Nigeria are now being viewed as criminal. I am not a Ghanaian. So I need them to come and claim that we are not criminals. When you come to equity, you have to come with a clean hand. There is no white thief in the world. There is no white thief in the world and there is no black thief in the world. A man who came to deceive us in the Labour Party should not be at the forefront of laying accusation on the other person. Now, what we are now asking is this. He said the president should come out. I am not interested in that rhetoric. What I'm interested in this, who is Peter Gogiobi? He's not the one. He's his brother. He's his brother. He's not the one. So he should come and tell Nigeria and face your true identity. How could a woman who has a child be claiming you have twins? Who deliver you of twins? It is the one you have, you know, that you lay claim to not for you to be laying claim to what doesn't belong to you. As a member of the same party, we will not cover crime. We will say because if you want to cover crime, the APC and PDP should continue to rule. Why do you want to change them? We have accused them of maladministration. We have accused them of malgovernance. We have accused them of stealing. It was in this country they were about to just spend whopping $16 billion uh, dollar on power. Did we see it? So if you want to change them, why do you have to be like them? It is better if you are going to enter their shoe then we should leave that to continue. So, I won't be a party to someone who said Nigeria is not being viewed as a criminal. Me, I don't have dual passport. I am just a Nigerian from Owudia. So, if somebody said, I'm a criminal, I want to point it to Inda Oga, go and clean yourself first. The log of wood in your eyes, remove it before you, you can now check the spec. And so, it's not a party thing. When you are adding your identity, for all of you to know, on his NYC certificate, we know people that used to use company name. We know them. It's women when they get married. I don't know whether Obi is a woman. You put Obi, Gregory, Peter, Ipin, Ongubuase. Who gave him the company name? Who gave Obi company name? Has he ever told you people he's a woman? Or is more than mother another person? He put Peter, Ipin. That is a company name now. This is. Come on, come on, I mean, a common sense English now. He put a company name here as his name. Those are questions begging for answer. Not for you to be telling us that, oh, you are paying that uh, one president is a criminal, is a forger. Are you getting my point? So, these are the questions we're asking. Now, the school that mobilizes him is not of Nigeria and Sukkot now. Everybody that goes to, to, to service know it is your school that will send your name to NYC, not you going there. So, if you write on Nigeria and Sukkot, Wrote Gregory Peter Obasi Obi to NYC. How many NYC now married, uh, married him up to another person? They now put Peter Ifin Obasi Obi. Who gave NYC the power to marry Obi up? Is he a woman? Or an amaprodite? These are the questions I beg you for answer now.
And don't forget, this thing was sent by Oseloka. It's, it's SLG. Yesterday. Do I have it? But when I did my press conference, he now came out to say, oh, Obi is very clean. He thought we are daft. We are not daft. This is not the he needed to clear this thing now. Are you a woman? Are we talking about our product or, you know, same sex, yeah? He needed to clear this thing. How, do, how did NYC manage to put IP in Peter on Gwasi? Is Peter now a woman? Don't have come with the question of begging for answer. It's not a question of Labour Party matter. If we will follow crime, if we are going to follow Mathis and my governors, is there a slavery of APC and PDP administration, then we don't have any business to be in governance. That means we are all better of the same feather. And Labour Party was not formed on that. It came from PDP. So it should not just come and infest us with those corrupt, I mean, they are, they are corruption in the Labour Party. We don't want that. You can go back to PDP where it's coming from. So that, I mean, that is the answer I have to your question. That we live, we are his boss there. He's a boy in our party. We are his boy, we are his own boss. He met us, Obi, that is just one year. Me that I spent 14 years, I will leave the party for him. For what? He's the one that will leave. We will go down to our guy or PDP. We are his senior in the party. We are his boss. It's not our own boss. And let me correct something. In Labour Party, the executive are the leaders. Our national chairman is the leader of the party, not our presidential candidate. In the state, it is the chairman that is the leader of the party. We are not like PDP or PD, I mean APC. When they elected the governor or chairman of local government, you know, you become a party leader. No, our council is not like that. So Obi is just one of our members in the Labour Party. And after this, their needless uh, petition, he will be sent back to either Abga. They are waiting for in Abga or PDP. But he can't stay in Labour Party because we are parallel line that can never meet. So we are is we are the one that took him into the Labour Party. So once his own ideology cannot fit with our own, he's the one that will carry his baggage. Back to where he's coming from, not for him to come and infest us, you know, with uh, endemic corruption in Labour Party. We do 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 do. No, we no, we are not liable to prosecution. You know why? I said in my press uh, this thing, he was the one that deposed to an oath in the form EC nine. For me, C9 is a phone given by neck where candidates are expected to put in their particulars. You will now go to court. You will now depot to an affidavit that every information given here is correct. You are the one that will sign. You depot. But when it is found to be lied, you want to commit a perjury. What he wrote, because he, you know, we did primary on the 29th. On the 30 was the last day. So we were rushing. He said, you know, he filled it there. He's there in 9 but he only said he had his school sat. No, he now put his school sat. He said at least school sat is the minimum. That because he was rushing, you know, he left PDP three days before he now came to join us. He said he will put his school sat there. It was me and Farouk that now rushed from Ataba to meet up with Tainet. So that we now submitted it. He said he will bring the rest since he has written them down. So we are not culpable. Are you getting me? You are not culpable. You know, if you tell me now that, oh, my wife is in the labor room. And the wife of your friend now come out. You are going to explain to the whole world now. That how many your wife, your friend of the wife of your wife is in the neighborhood, you say now your wife. Now you go pay the bride price. You are the one that will explain. So he's the one that said he has it. He's there in the former C9. But he only submitted the school search. Because the minimum qualification is there. He didn't even put the birth certificate. He wrote, he, he said he has. You know, date of birth. And the, the form said, submit, you know, you have you have to attach. But he submitted the minimum, which is the school start or is equivalent. You know, in Nigeria, even if you work for 10 years, it, it is assumed you went to school. That's the Nigeria constitution. They said we all want to change it. But for now, that is what we will be contented with, or we can port to Ghana. Oh, last question. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. The, you know, the only one sitting there as a Labour Party. He said he has a dead brother. I said his name on the certificate, it's not the name. That's the parading. I'm coming. No, let me ask. Let me ask. He said, This is his name. I wasn't the one that wrote that, you know. He said, That was his name, given to him by his father. I am calling on Peter Obi now, in the presence of the old world. If what I'm saying is lie, he should write pencil to the John Napoli. Let me go and meet him there. Simple. Let on, let on me there. But he's using the identity of his dead brother. So, does the party have any plans to expel him or? No, he will be expelled immediately after the Supreme Court judgment. He will be expelled. He will be expelled. Around, or should I call it a rumor that this sponsor by APC for getting to this 
It is false. That that one is false. Because what we are saying doesn't concern a president Tinubu. It concerns our own party. You understand? If somebody is an Amaprodite, you come out to say you are Amaprodite. If they get him out, you know, I just, I just show you the certificate of NYC. Am I the one that put Peter? I think. I think. I mean, let us be very, let us be very sure now. Ah, maybe, maybe it's a woman. Maybe they married him up. NYC also need to come out clean on this. I am not the one. And don't forget, they posted this to Oseloka, he says, posted this thing on his own media and yesterday. He posted it that this is certificate. And because some of us are wise, we now, now ask a question. Why did you come and tell us who married Peter B? Is he the one that married somebody or they married him? That's right. Is this your position or the position of the Labour Party? That's the position of the Labour Party. 